Because I personally, and I happen to know this about gay too, I love detective stories, I love thrillers, I love the drama that comes from watching people engage in the darker side of things. Yeah. And I also have been practicing meditation for over 30 years. I am a teacher of, of meditation. I am drawn to spiritual growth. I feel like every everything in my life is directed towards that. And so how do you marry those two mm -hmm. things? And Gay, when Gay first told me about the character of Tenzing, I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Because what it, it is so fascinating to me that somebody who has this deep desire to be um, a whole person and to be somebody who brings a, the forces of good into the world, and yet this equally strong draw towards the more criminal elements of life, the darker side of things, I I feel like on some level we are all doing this every day. I get in my car in Los Angeles and the challenge is there in about five minutes. <laughs> How do I stay mindful and not murderous? Um, you know, it's That a, could be a subtitle. Of yes, murder. it's a challenge. Mindful or murderous. And, and in, in this case, we get to go to the, the two extremes of it and marry them. And I, I really think letting people know, you know, that both of those exist in all of us at any time. and have compassion towards that part of ourselves that might feel murderous or endangered or and then have compassion for that part of ourselves that is um, willing to stay open and and bring up bring bring whether in Tenzi's case a prayer to somebody that has just died to help mm. their spirit move into the next stage or not choose to pull the trigger when the time comes he, he just fascinates me I've had the pleasure of going to a lot of monasteries in Tibet uh, a long time ago. I got a visa to ride my mountain bicycle across Tibet along with 12 people. And so we went into all the old monasteries. And so I can still, in this moment, smell what some of them smell like, especially the ones with yak butter, yak butter. lamps, yeah. that kind of musty smell to right. them. But and I had a wonderful experience, um, once again, just where, coincidentally, I had to be in New York for a um, conference. and I was able to meet with a young Tibetan ex-monk um, who had wow. been in a monastery in Dharamshala and also grew up in Tibet and was very similar to the story that we wrote about Tenzing, except that okay. he, um, he, he didn't turn to become a cop. He wants to be an actor, but, <laughs> 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 but, but, the tra but the trail there was similar, and he was also able to just um, sit and talk and talk and talk mm -hmm. about what did we eat, what was it mm -hmm. like, what were the beds that oh, we slept so... in, and very similar to what Gay had, but just with a little bit of the contemporary feel as well, so it was really fun to write this.